everyone welcome back I'm doing a Q&A this is it my final take I've literally tried to film this video a million times already and I just um, talk for so long and I say so much that no one would ever sit and listen to it but I've narrowed down the questions I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna be talking pretty fast touch base I got a lot of questions off of Instagram when I asked based off of like the responses and how many responses I got about certain things some of these things I just like can't touch on briefly like I just want to talk a lot about them so upcoming videos a moving and budgeting in NYC video thrifting tips, a sustainability Q&A, like solely on sustainability, a video of Tyler and I, I'm gonna get him to sit down finally with me. Um, we'll probably do a more like vlog fun style because he doesn't really wanna just like plop down in front of the camera. Anxiety, depression, kind of update, tips, my experience, definitely a college review, a relationship advice kind of thing body confidence, also how I developed my own personal style is a video I've been wanting to make for a while because I think it would be really interesting because it had certainly evolved through the years. Um, otherwise, I have some fun questions I picked out. I'm going to talk really fast, as fast as I can so I can get through as many of these um, and have it not be too boring. So first one, meet and greet in NYC, question mark. Yes, I would love to do that. I'm thinking of doing another clothing swap type meetup. I think those are fun because there's actually something like fun to do, so stay tuned for that. Where is your dream work slash living location? Um, I guess like work-wise, I'm really not sure, but living, I think I definitely want to end up somewhere near or directly on a beach. Um, that would be my dream. How do I decide which brands I want to work with? This is a hot button question. All of the brands I work with, I vet very heavily and just make sure that they're in line with my practices, whether it be like cruelty free and vegan or whatever. I'm just making sure things are produced ethically. If they're a good company overall, I think there's definitely a way to take sponsorships on YouTube and social media that are genuine. And I really do put a lot of thought into who is aligning with myself and like who I actually want to share with people because that's a, the biggest part of it is that a lot of people are seeing it and if they're worthy of sharing um yeah how do I stay positive I would say the biggest thing I do to stay positive is I used to actually be a pretty negative person um, I still like to struggle with depression anxiety but overall I'm a pretty positive person person like with my mindset and I would attribute that to one like learning about the law of attraction which was two-ish years ago and that like fully changed my life and just like the idea that it's so much it's harder to make yourself be positive but life is so much better when you have a positive outlook on people and your own life even when things aren't going like super hot practicing being grateful every single day is a great way to make yourself be a more positive person and being when you're positive you just like attract better things into your life Ooh, read my chart let me pull up co-star so my libra is in sun my rising is gemini and my moon is sagittarius my full-blown chart let's see what else we're missing here i have to look for this so yeah my ascendant like rising is in Gemini, Libra is Sun, Venus, and Mercury are all in Libra. My Mars and Pluto is in Scorpio. I'm Sagittarius, Moon, and also in Jupiter. And then Capricorn in Neptune and Uranus. And Pisces is in Saturn. What motivates me the most? When I'm really hopped on life, actually. Like when I'm the most motivated, it's when I am grasping at the idea that life is so fleeting and that we don't have forever to be on this life so why are we waiting to do the things that we want to do and of course like not everyone is able to do exactly what you want all the time but what motivates me to like reach for bigger goals or dreams and I feel like I've always been this way is just that 
you might as well try to make your life into what you want it to be and not everything works out and not everything goes perfectly one being passionate about what I'm doing so like feeling really passionately makes you want to work harder um, and just be more involved and then again just realizing that you might as well go for it because if you're not going to someone else probably will and also why not how are you hope you are feeling better also also recently started taking ssris love and light oh okay. this is so sweet thank you i am doing a lot better i totally am gonna do a full-blown update video on like anxiety depression i got so many questions about like social anxiety anxiety in general um and I want to do a full update because I think it's important to talk about. Um, so recently, yes, I am on medication. It has... I was never one who like wanted to be on medication, but it got to a point last November that it really was not an option. Um, and I'm doing a lot better right now. It's just like not something I plan to be on forever, but I... I am much more stable than I ever have been and I'm much happier than I've ever been which is just like a blessing and a blessing that I found one that doesn't have like crazy side effects for me and yeah I think a lot of you guys have noticed that I just have been a more more authentic version of myself because I've been happier because looking back like I on most of my YouTube videos I was just severely depressed which is really interesting thing but I am doing a lot better than I was doing which is great how do you find out what your goals are dreams long or short term I figured out like what I wanted by taking time away from everything else so that meant like for me taking time away from school I always kind of had an idea of what my dreams were but I didn't really hone in on them until I had time to try out different areas, figure out what life is, figure out what money is, figure out how to take care of yourself and how, what the rest of your life is going to look like and also like dabble in different areas. I would say if you have no idea what you want to do and your there's something that kind of sparks your interest, I would say go for that. Yeah, so I would just feel like, I feel like dabbling and grabbing onto passion um, and like ideas when you have them and actually grabbing onto them and holding onto them is one of the biggest like tips of advice that I can that I've get, been given and um, not letting those ideas just pass you by. So many questions about Tyler um, which I'm happy to answer. I'm not hiding anything from you but I will answer this one right here because I have to save some of it for our video together. This is moving in with your boyfriend slash being young in a serious relationship. I never thought that I would be 23 and moved in with my significant other. That wasn't really, I don't know, in the cards. Like I didn't think that was gonna happen, but then, you know, fell in love, shit happened. Um, but also, Tyler and I put so much thought into if we were gonna move in together or not so I would just definitely recommend no one can tell you if it's gonna work out or not be moving in with your partner definitely is a big step everything changes yeah things change like I remember when we first moved in it was like kind of it was good but like just an adjustment period of like how our relationship changed we got so much closer in so many amazing ways and like we get to spend so much good time together but at the same time, it was it's like different time than we had spent together before where we would plan to hang out and therefore you have like something you're planning to do or like it's, it's different than when you just like come home to someone and you're like, hey, what's up? Like you're a little bit more like a roommate, which we really try to like, you know, keep things spicy. But like those are just all things to think about and also like having a real talk with your partner and seeing like what does moving in together look like for you and being really honest and like then listening to what their idea is is really crucial because if those don't match then maybe not a good time if you had to choose one cuisine to eat for the rest of your life what would it be definitely probably mexican food because it's very versatile and delicious how were you as a kid 
I was like as a kid kid I was just like very goofy but also still like a very responsible person but I was always I've always been like pretty outgoing especially as I was a kid I think I lost some of that moving to New York as I became more of an adult I kind of like got bored more boring um which I'm now regaining because I don't think I lost those parts of myself but I definitely was like a pretty goofy kid how difficult was it to balance school YouTube and a social life honestly pretty freaking hard I took 21 credits the last two semesters which was very hard and like kind of kind of some self-sabotaging that I did for myself to make life so much more stressful trying to pump out two YouTube videos a week usually doing it sometimes not but that was a lot of work doing that amount of work is definitely like a full-time job which is why I kind of had a little mental breakdown and also trying to balance a social life of like seeing my friends which is what keeps me happy and going and I didn't have time for that and so now I'm really trying to get back to a place where I'm balanced now that I have the time it's over thank god um yeah do you get negatively affected by social media and if so how do you deal with that I just find it very draining it definitely negatively affects me especially now that it's my job and like you have to somewhat measure your success on like how well your social media is doing even though I try not to look at it I try not to look at it like that. I try to look at it as like fulfillment and if people are happy from what I'm making and things like that, but it does get even more stressful when it becomes a job and like is tenfold the amount of anxiety over it that I ever had before. And I just like step away from it. I kind of talked about that before, but like deleting Instagram and like the YouTube app off of my phone for a whole day, I'll feel like a new person. All right, life after graduation. Everyone was asking this, am I having an existential crisis? What am I gonna do with myself? How am I doing? Um, yeah, I am having a little bit more of an existential crisis than I thought because I, one, I like took time off of school, so I kind of have some prior knowledge of like what it feels like to be out of college, at least for a little bit. Two, my job is YouTube. People ask that as well. That's my main source of income along with like other things that involve YouTube. So I'm going to continue doing that. I've been doing this for four and a half, five-ish years. It just became something that makes me money like last July, seriously. So it's been almost a year of doing it as my job, which is crazy. And I'd also be crazy to like stop doing it right now after all of these years of trying to get to a point. Not that it was like this was my end goal completely like obviously I love doing it which is why I did it and it was a really fun hobby but having it be your job obviously like having something you love turn into a job is great so yeah I'd have to be kind of silly to like just stop doing it and so I'm excited to like give my heart and soul to the channel and make a lot more content for you a lot more like diverse content a lot more well thought out content um, just like new ideas, new series, things like that that I have been working on and hopefully like incorporating other people and just like more fun, have more fun with it because I have a lot of creative juice that I've been storing. So that's where I see myself going right now. Eventually, I also um, definitely like want to start volunteering since I do make my own schedule. It's like the perfect thing that I could possibly like volunteer I'm trying to figure out where I want to volunteer at right now and then I'd love to do maybe eventually like more directing for other people like videos unrelated to myself like not having myself in them and also potentially like sustainability consulting for like fashion brands and stuff I think that would be amazing and I would love to do that so I'm not sure how I'll get my foot in the door there, but I think that would be something I would love to do on the side. So those are all the things that I'm kind of thinking about. I am currently writing an ebook, which I'm excited for. It's gonna be very, very, very inexpensive. So I'm excited about that as like a fun little project. Yeah, so that's my plans thus far. Someone said, where can you buy the perfect underwear? Cause I can't find the perfect high-waisted undies. Maybe those are coming to you from a secret source. How do you afford pricey clothing from small ethical brands? Well, 
One of the nice payoffs from not working with fast fashion companies who have a shit ton of money to pay influencers is that I get to partner with really cool, small, ethical brands and sometimes I'm lucky enough to have them send me stuff. And this is something I debate on because part of like where I see myself as I've positioned myself as like sustainability and fashion where it's like if I wanted to be the most sustainable person ever I would just like dip out and go try to be self-sufficient somewhere and not buy anything like the bare minimum I would become a minimalist but I am kind of in the space to like help people transition I think and show like the ways you can still be in the fashion realm and do it in a better way that's kind of my that's my spiel i get to work with cool small ethical brands because of the i think like years i've spent cultivating information and stuff i don't get everything gifted like i just saved up for a pair of rafa shoes that i've literally been saving up for for two years because they're pretty expensive shoes but i really like the brand they're vegan shoes, they're so beautiful, I love them, and they went on sale finally, and I, I just bought them, and I was really excited about it because I've actually wanted them for two years, which is great. But yeah, just to put that out there, like a lot of the like nicer stuff is sometimes gifted to me. I enjoy sharing brands and like spotlighting brands that are doing cool things, and part of that is like me wearing their clothes, and yeah, but I literally reject people all the time if I don't think they either are my style, even if they're sustainable or whatever. Do you plan on staying vegan? I have talked about this before that I like kind of transitioned to the name of plant-based just because it feels more correct to me. I kind of got like other questions of like, would you ever consider not being vegan while traveling to experience culture, etc. like slash do I ever slip up? I'll be honest about this, I definitely like I'm not the most hardcore vegan, which is why I changed my persona to plant-based because I'm a Libra. I see things not black and white, like there's always kind of like both sides to it. That doesn't change like my opinion on the way that animals are treated and like I'll never eat meat again. Scout's honor. But I see how being a vegan online and like the vegan online community like kind of pisses me off and I don't really like it in which case I just don't actually want to be a part of it and I'm not saying all vegans online that's not it at all but like a lot of it is too much pressure and that pressure is not sustainable for me stay vegan and my goal answering the first question is yes to stay plant-based for the rest of time so with that, having like the leeway or like not as much pressure on myself is the best way for me to stay 99% plant-based vegan for as long as I can see the future. And that's just how I feel about it. Everyone has their own different opinion. With diet, it's such a like different world. I don't get hard on myself like for slip ups. And I'm not saying I like actively cheat but i also am like that's why i changed to plant-based because i understand the people who are like don't call yourself a vegan if you're not actually vegan and they like want that title which is fine like you can have it and i will do my own thing because i know what i'm doing and like i feel comfortable with like my contributions and like where i'm at so that's like my whole thoughts on it do you want to speak a language slash do you speak another language i really want to learn as many languages as possible I've been learning Spanish like since kindergarten, so I have a pretty like good base of Spanish. I know some French, I'm not very good at it. Um, I'm trying to learn Portuguese right now. I don't know if I answered that question, but upcoming I really want to do like Spain, Portugal, possibly like South America eventually, like Peru I think would be awesome. Um, and then I would like my dream vacay is to go to Greece. Like I think Greece is the most beautiful place in the world. Mamma Mia is my favorite movie. Um, and I just wanna go there. Tickets are so expensive. Speaking of traveling, would I ever get a pet? Yes, I would. And people were like, why don't you have a pet yet? Mostly because I knew upon graduating that I wanted to spend some time, hopefully like traveling for extended periods of time and not just like a week like maybe actually living somewhere for like three months if i could swing it the minute i am feeling situated i'm gonna adopt probably a dog i also got some questions like if i would talk about my chronic illness 
I'm gonna make a video on it. It's I literally started this YouTube channel so I could talk and like spread awareness of about my chronic illness, but I just have trouble talking about it because it's just the biggest part of my life. Um, it's something I like struggle with every single day still and like being vulnerable about that and like even anyone passing judgment like scares the shit out of me because it is just something I'm still so like sensitive and like coping with because it changed my life forever but yeah I will make a video on it soon because I've already connected with someone via Instagram who has the same thing that I do I'll tell you the name because you're probably itching to know it's postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome which is POTS for short and it's a relatively new chronic illness and there's a lot that goes to it it's very different for everyone I was once very 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 ill um, I'm doing a lot better now but I still deal with it every single day which a lot of people don't know yeah I really want to tell like my story I guess just to put it out there and reach like other people who are dealing with similar things because I know a lot of people have different chronic illnesses as well that have those same kind of feelings and depression and anxiety over their illnesses and also feeling like people don't understand um, can be one of the biggest things, especially when it's like an invi invisible illness, which is like what I have, you would never know that I'm sick. And my last question, in what part does general consumption come in as a matter of late? of sustainably living. I would say general general consumption comes in at number one part of sustainable living because I think an overall rule, one of my professors said this to me, is to buy less and use it for longer and that is just like the best way to condense that into a sentence is being sustainable is not about buying new things, it's not about buying sustainable clothes, like whatever. I mean it is sometimes as alternatives to worse methods but for the most part just using what you have and appreciating what you have is the very first step you could ever make to living a more sustainable lifestyle so i would say general consumption and just monitoring your consumption is one of the best things you can do i'm gonna leave it there hopefully this is good hopefully i liked my answers hopefully this makes it to the internet thanks for watching if you made it this far i cannot thank you enough for your support and being here truly from the bottom of my heart it is really crazy that people watch my videos so thank you and a lot more coming soon so i'm very excited happy spring summer to everyone and i will see you in the next one